presenter today is Dr. Peter Anderson. He is an independent consult consulting economist. He obtained his PhD in economics from Harvard University, and then he worked at Canada's version of the U.S. Federal Reserve, our Bank of Canada. He was the director of its economic forecasting team. Then Peter joined the national management consulting firm of Woods Gordon, which later became Ernst Young. He was the managing partner for the business conditions and forecasting practice. To many of our tech members, Peter is well known because he has been publishing the Anderson Report, which uh, is routinely sent out to all of our tech members. I would uh, also like to say that Peter was also uh, instrumental in covering and providing a lot of information to major corporations, financial institutions and buying groups. He's still very involved in presenting um, to various sectors and providing that information on investment management, portfolio management, insurance, financial planning, human resources, and various other sectors, including home building, retailing, and trucking. So without further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome Dr. Peter Anderson. And what better and thanks, that got me into my final point as to what the new normal is going to look like. So that's how I'm finishing off here in terms of what the questions are. And uh, so many questions, so few answers, but uh, we're moving away from a just-in-time world. The future of work is changing. Real estate preferences are changing. And having said that, do you really want to go into an elevator in a condo and go up 20 or 30 floors with a bunch of strangers. It very well could be that real estate preferences are going to change away from density living. Uh, maybe people will want to live in low rise, low rise units that have a certain amount of separation from the people next door. So that's one of my thoughts. The other thought, of course, is universities and cities, uh, municipal governments, I think universities are going to be hard hit by this. You really want to spend all those dollars going to your expensive university and having that university experience, uh, pay for your dormitory, pay for all your meals, living away from home. I think a lot of people have learned that they can do the online learning and they don't have to move away from home. So there's lots going on there. Uh, how about professional sports? Uh, are professional sports going to be something going ahead that are really done in a uh, basically a TV studio uh, with canned lap? Oh, you know the you, you know when you're hearing uh, a canned laughter, uh, it's it's on an audio file. So crowd noise that's that basically artificial crowd noise and uh you don't see the empty stands but the players are out there on the field um is that the way we're going to go to a new world of uh, of studio uh type of entertainment the small business i think crisis is going to continue there are so many small businesses that are going to go to business that won't be able to get back uh, and um, because of that, I think we're going to see a slow recovery. Yes, we are going to see, you know, step by step, more people working, more people working each month, each month, more people working, that'll happen. But a lot of people really won't get back because of the small business crisis. And then there's the whole issue of the vaccine. Are we being too optimistic, thinking that we'll have a vaccine next year? Uh, well, you and I, as individuals and you and I as business people are all going to be very cautious with our business planning until we know we have what you would call an end game, an end game. An end game is when we've got a, a vaccine, we've got a vaccine, we can get our shots, we are going to feel protected and we can get back to normal routines. But until then, businesses in terms of planning and decisions and the business way forward, businesses and individuals are going to remain very cautious until that vaccine happens. Uh, so again, that's one of the reasons I think that this comeback is going to be uh, a slow comeback and probably will have confidence uh, cycles because if Fochi is right and we are guaranteed to have a second wave, 
Hopefully we can manage that second wave by putting a firewall around the 80% that are really high risk, uh, where most of the deaths are. Uh, well, that means a second wave can be managed, but we won't know that until we go through it. So I think there's going to be lots of waves of uh, confidence coming back and then confidence falling to the wayside again. So.